hello guys welcome back to my channel it's nice seeing you here please if this is your first time please subscribe and hit the like button thank you so today we'll be making this queen anne um, neckline and this is what it looks like uh, when we are done so we'll start yeah uh, um i was done sketching out my basic blood eyes and we'll start doing the work which is configuring it um into queen and neckline so first thing is to connect it this thing the, the the width of my neckline is three by three that is three width three depth so three inches i meant to say so what you will do is to connect from your bust point from your bust point that's for, from your nipple point you'll be connecting from your nipple point to the three inches width that i did my was three inches so i connected the dot then after connecting the lines i'll be going in by two inches this is um kind of like that manipulation um people are that know about that manipulation you just go in by two inches and the only thing you need to do is just to connect the two inches from where you're seeing my hand to the nipple point that is the same way you connected the shoulder too so you'll be connecting that two inches that you mapped out from the three inches width in you connect it like you are saying so after that after that i will be um folding this shoulder that is i'll be folding this um from my shoulder to the extra two inches that i marked out so i'll be folding it in that is like closing my dart because what i'll be doing next i need to close the dart so that we don't have ss after marking it out so in case if you have like a white solo tape you can use a white solo tape. i don't have a white solo tape the one i had is the paper solo tape if i use it here it will cover the line so i didn't want to so that's why you see me pressing hard to try make it stay in place so now what you'll be doing is to get that neckline that is that queen and neckline what i'll be doing now is that i'll be going in by four inches this is for my size i'm size six so if you're size eight you can do five inches or my thing highest is five but if you are size six like me you just need to go in by four inches only so that you when you wear your outfit or when after doing after making your outfit or making your top you don't like have your shoulder open that's why i want to make it tight i'll be going in by four inches and from my bust points up i'll be going in by three inches i'll be going up by three inches because i don't want it to be too down and my bust will be showing so i'll be go i'll be going up by three inches the little thing to do is that from my center line to towards my shoulder um towards my armhole line i'll just go in by four inches and i'll be ruling that um down to connect it to the three inches um where my trenches stopped from the bust point so when you are done doing that you have to connect from that line where that line stopped you have to connect from there to where the entry trenches so what i did later on now is that i reduce that trenches to two and a half that is towards towards my center bust that's where i reduce two and a half but the upper the other side is three still three inches so from there to that two and a half i'll be connecting the lines as you can see it's already coming out but if you don't have um, this armhole curve that i used in doing it you can still use your you can do it manually and 
it will still come out nice so that's the thing what next what i'll be doing next now is to is to tighten in the underbust that's what i'll be doing now i have to tighten the underbust because um this thing is going to stay around your bust and because of that i'll be tightening the underbust so what i'll be doing is to go in by half inch from the dart line not from the um the center line the dart line i'll be going in by four um half inch sorry half inch just what i'll be doing is to that half inch i'll be connecting it to my um bust point that is my nipple point i'll be connecting it So now from that um, underboss, I have to connect the line straight to where the dart line, that is straight to the dart legs. I have to connect it from the underboss straight to the dart legs. That's what I'm going to be doing. So it was as if um, I wasn't seeing it well and I was like, I hope the camera is getting it well. So I decided to use my marker to um, make it more visible so that you don't have to strain your eyes trying to get what I'm doing. So I was just tracing out the lines and making sure that um, it's looking like what I envision it to look like. So guys, something happened here. My marker stopped working. Like I was like, why? No, it stopped working. Oh, I have to use um, alternative. I, have to I think the whole process was so frustrating that. I didn't know that I wasn't filming when I cut this, um, when I separated this, um, this front. So forgive me for that. Um, this is this is this is me. I was trying to do the back pattern so that you can see. I have gone ahead to use pencil, but pencil wasn't helping because literally when I look inside the phone, I cannot see anything. So what I did was um, use a pen. I think pen helped. At least you can see you can see the line so forgive me we're going to get marker next time so um what i did what i did was just simple i just have to trace the line and this this are uh, this queen and style is not complicated the back pattern is not complicated it's just your normal back pattern unless you want to do something extra but it's not compl complicated it's just the back pattern so what i'll be doing now is that after tracing every line with my pen to make sure that you can be able to see it well after tracing out everything what i have to do now is to place the um, front pattern to the back pattern because this neckline the sleeve of the front have to be the same thing with the back that is any any anything that you want to do with the back um, neckline the front have to be the same thing with the back so that is why i have to trace it and um, i i mark a point where i will be drawing my neckline so um with this back neckline you can do any neckline that you want to do for your back but me i intentionally didn't want to do um something deep because you know that this queen and when you bend down if you're not careful your bust will be coming out if you are not careful or maybe if you did not draw your pattern well so i decided to um do a high neck this is just one and a half inches that i removed from the back neckline so the only thing i need to do is just connect it and when i wear the clothes the back the back um piece the back part of this top 
will be holding the front that's when i bend down my shoulder the, my bust to have to pull out you know So I'm done cutting out the excesses and this is what it looks like when you are when you are done with your pattern this is what it's supposed to look like this is what it's it, it, it have to look like this so a new video will be coming up on how uh, I, I will turn this thing into fabric and you see what it will look like please don't forget to subscribe please subscribe subscribe i'm begging you it will not cost you anything just subscribe please thank you and um see you next time bye